Many of us have rushed out of the house to pick up a few things at the store only to realize we forgot something at home. Well, that's what happened to a Winnipeg woman this week. She forgot her wallet, but despite a lack of cash, she didn't leave the store empty handed. It all happened at Extra Foods on St. Anne's Road, which is where CTV's Josh Crabb is tonight. Josh, what exactly did happen? Marilee, instead of sending the woman home to get money, a manager paid for her groceries. He did so with one condition. Linda Russell usually leaves the grocery shopping to her husband. On Wednesday, she went on her own to the Extra Foods on St. Anne's Road. Ran to the grocery store because I had to pick a few things up. Had some people coming over uh, for dinner. Russell rolled up to the till and opened her purse to pay the cashier, only to realize she didn't have any money to buy her groceries. And I went, oh no, I don't have my wallet. So I sort of went, oh my God, what am I going to do? Linda Russell was prepared to put all her groceries back on the shelf, but she didn't have to. That's because grocery manager Daryl Laxdahl happened to be working the till and offered to help. Because I'm, I'm not a cashier, I didn't necessarily handle it in the correct way that a cashier would, but um, it was a spontaneous act of kindness. Laxdahl paid $122 of his own money for Russell's groceries. She tried to say no, but Laxdahl insisted, saying she could pay him back next time she visited the store. He came around the till with his, cred his uh, cash card and put it in for me, and then went back to the other side and bagged my groceries. Russell paid back Laxdahl within the hour. She offered to buy him a gift. Laxdahl wouldn't accept. He only had one request. I said, what can I do that's special for you? And he said, just pay it forward. That's exactly what she did, making a $60 donation to Silo Mission to pay for 20 Thanksgiving meals. That's great. And mainly because of what you did. Nice. Yeah, it just creates a ripple effect, right? A ripple effect which has already touched many lives. Yvette DeVoe with Pay It Forward Manitoba says it only takes a small favor to make someone's day. If you can just take the time to see other people and notice them and reach out to them, you're going to help that person, you're going to feel good, that person's going to go and do something for somebody else. In this case, it was a forgotten wallet that set the wheels in motion and led to a shopping trip Linda Russell won't soon forget. I just thought, that is a really trusting soul and I just thought, wow, you are one special man. Russell says she's never forgotten her wallet before. She tried offering Laxdahl her watch, uh, even her shoes, as a security deposit, just something, until she returned to the store to pay back the money. But Laxdahl refused, saying he trusted her. Wow, just remarkable. So, Josh, I have to ask, is Laxdahl now expecting more of his customers to start forgetting their wallets? <laughs> <laughs> Merrily, I asked him about that. He says no. Laxdahl says now he's always willing to help, uh, but he says he's only got so much money, he joked, to help people out. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot for this, Josh.